Good afternoon, Father. Good afternoon. Please, can you briefly introduce yourself to us? My name is Father Ephri Matthias Selemobri, missionary of St. Paul. Okay. I understand that you are the vicar for religious and the Archdiocese of Abuja. Yes, I am. Uh, so, I will, we would just want to know what the work of a vicar practically involves in the Archdiocese or in the different places any person can work in this capacity. I am fairly new in this job and I am still learning, but it is to represent the Archbishop to the religious and the religious to the Archbishop. And by the religious, I mean men and women religious uh, to the Archbishop and the Archbishop to the religious. It's a work to foster unity, foster love, also to encourage uh, the different congregations. So it's uh, a work I have begun, but it is a learning on the job, as it were. Uh, that's what it is. Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. Uh, another question. How can you relate, you know, how can the relationship from your own vantage point as a vicar for religious, how can the relationship between the local uh, clergy and the religious or consecrated people who work in a particular diocese or archdiocese be enhanced? It can be enhanced because we are one church and we share the same body, the same blood. And when we have programs, we invite them and they invite us to their programs. So when we have challenges, we share together, either from the religious perspective or from the diocesan perspective, we share in those challenges. When there are deaths, we share them. We share the mourning with those who have uh, suffered losses. And when there are celebrations of birthdays and other things, we also share in their joys. So in that way, uh, our love is kept alive and our union is strengthened. Those are the little ways that we do it. Thank you very much, Father. One final question. Uh, what message would you like to give to consecrated men and women today, and even the faithful whom they, whom they serve? Well, to dedicate their lives to God, to His Son Jesus in the Holy Spirit, to be open to what the Holy Spirit might be wanting from us, to listen to the Holy Spirit and to be like Jesus, working for the salvation of souls. That's what I have to say. Thank you very much, Father, for your thank time you. and thank you for your words of wisdom and admonition. Thank you, Father.